Marcelo B, why can't Rico be used in red zone like a wide receiver? It's, it's all about the 46. Uh, we, we talked about the 53-man roster, but it's all about the 46. In order for Rico to make this team, he had to make an impact pretty much on special teams. He had to show that he's confident enough to know the plays. Remember, tight end is the third hardest position in the National Football League. You have so many responsibilities. I can't preach this enough. You have to be able to be, you have to know the inline routes as well as the outside routes. You have to understand to make your proper adjustments. Remember that tight end is the extension of the offensive line. So you have to play both sides of the field. You have to also, as a tight end, play the fullback positioning. So in the National Football league every position is valuable if we had 80 man rosters or if it was like a college roster we can hide rico gathers for years until he get his feet together until he get his mind together and and this is the other thing that i said too as well with rico rico may just be a gamer he may not be a good practice guy he's looked like one of the guys he's six foot eight michael irvin call him zeus for crying out loud so maybe if, if rico get out there and ball out and show everybody in the world that he can ball in preseason, maybe, you know. But as far as practicing and learning his assignments, the last thing on earth that you want your tight end to do is whiff on a block and he folds your quarterback up like a pretzel, you know. You don't want that from your tight end. So coming out of the gates, we do know that Schultz is a brilliant, smart guy. He's a study, he is a student of the game coming out of Stanford. He knows the offense. He knows the plays already. We can say that, right? Because they played like a pro style format in Stanford as far as him blocking. His blocking scheme, his blocking schematics is going to be pretty much higher than Rico's. So in order for Rico to make this team, in order for him to beat out the Jeff Swaim, in order for him to beat off the, the Blake Barron, Jarwin blowing whatever the man's name <laughs> sorry man i murdered your name but he have to show up and show out guys it's just the bottom line um and then injury plays a fact too as well so if he can stay healthy then we can get things going uh and i love that i love this rico debate because i can't wait for to see this guy play i can't wait to see training camp i cannot wait to see this guy ball 